to another awesome video here in Toy Transformations. We are super excited to transform our dolls into the characters of A Wrinkle in Time. Today we'll transform our cute LOL dolls Lutz into Mrs. Watson, Corn Champ into Mrs. Witch, and Honey Bun into Mrs. Who. I'm sure they're going to look amazing. So let's start. <laughs> So, our cute golden girl looks. She is going to become the awesome Mrs. Watson. Call me Mrs. Watson. For this transformation, we won't use any LOL clothes because we're going to model everything from scratch. The only thing we'll use for this are these white boots we have here. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is paint her whole body with white. Just leave the arms, ankles, and feet unpainted. Now with small pieces of foam we'll create the shoulder pads this way. We flatten the foam and then with the help of a modeling tool we'll curl it a little bit. We'll give it a pointy shape on one side and then we'll attach it to our jaw. Now with another flat piece of foam we'll start making the dress. We'll curl the foam a little to create little ruffles. We'll repeat this step, attaching the ruffles on the dress little by little until the doll's body is fully covered. Please remember that the top ruffles are more curled than the bottom ones. Now we'll flatten our foam even more than before and we'll curl it just a little bit. We want them to look wavy and we'll attach them on the dress to complete it. <sighs> And now, our awesome honey bun is going to be Mrs. Who! For this transformation, we'll use this head pearl color and also these shoes. Also, we'll use two of this cute pearl dress, so our final dress is super super fluffy. And for her robe, we will use this red apron. <laughs> We'll start with Mrs. Who dress. The first thing we'll do is to cut the top part because we just want the fluffy skirt. With a hot silicone gun, we're going to glue the fluffy skirt we cut under the fluffy dress we have. This way our dress looks as fluffy as it can be. Now with some beige color, we will paint the top part of the dress just like this. We'll paint the golden belt of our dress with some red paint. With this brush and some dark blue, we're going to paint all of the skirt. Paint under the ruffles really good so the skirt is super blue. Okay, so now with a lighter shade of blue, we'll tap it on the edges of some of the skirt's ruffles. With a lighter shade of blue than the one we used, we'll do the same on the ruffles we left unpainted. Now with the same beige color we used before, we'll paint under the red belt just like this. With a thin brush and white paint, we'll draw a fine line above the red belt. Now we're going to cut the sides of the apron this way, so it looks more like a rectangle, and this way our outfit will look better. Let's paint our apron with this dark red color. With a thin brush and bright green, we'll draw vertical stripes on the apron this way. So now we'll draw more stripes but with a darker shade of red. Okay, time for more stripes. This one will be a light shade of blue. The final stripe will be golden. You can give it several coats so the color stands out. <laughs> Time to transform our cute honey bun into the mysterious Mrs. Witch. For, the cry out in the universe. For this outfit, we chose this cute Alice in Wonderland dress and also these golden shoes. We'll make sure she looks beautiful. We'll cut the white lace our dress has because we want our dress to look straight. We cut a long square of grey foam and now with cold silicone glue I'm going to glue it on our dress to make it all straight and long. Now with this grey silver paint I'm going to paint the dress. Make sure to cover it really good. Foam is a little bit hard to paint so give it several coats. 
We'll apply a second color now. We'll paint this dress with a metallic gold. Okay, baby, looks, it's time to cut your ponytail. Sorry, but I promise you will look beautiful as Mrs. Watson. We covered the head slow with a piece of blue tape and we'll start modeling her hair with a small piece of foam. Make her hair really long and a little bit curly on the hair ends. That side is ready, so now let's do the other side. We flatten the foam and then with scissors cut it in half and twist each one to create the waves of the hair. Once the foam is dry, it's time to paint it. We'll use this orange and red mixture, so cover it really good. Now with this special brush and some bright orange, we'll give highlights to the hair. Okay, so we will need to cut Honey Bun's earrings. Oh, they were so cute. And now we'll also cut the hair bun. Bye-bye. We covered the hole with a piece of blue tape. And now with a piece of foam, we'll start modeling her hair. First, we'll cover it as if it was a helmet. And then with another piece of foam, we'll attach it on the head as a hair bun with the help of a modeling tool. Now with a brush and black paint, we'll paint it really good. Now it's your turn, car champ. First, we'll cut the hair bones off. Remember to cover up the hose with blue tape. And now let's start modeling her hair. We'll create a helmet first to use as a base so we can attach the curls. We'll curl small foam strips and start attaching each one of them onto the foam base we did before. Make lots and lots of curls so the hair looks super pretty. Wow, look how awesome the hair looks. We'll start painting it with this beige color. Be very patient. There are so many cute curls. We're going to paint them all. We'll paint the pearl headband with this blue color. Alrighty, let's glue the cute headband on our doll. It looks so cute. We'll use the other part of the pearl headband to glue them onto her cute hair buns. Our doll looks cute with her outfit. We just need to put on the golden shoes and ta-da, she is such a cutie. So we modeled Mrs. Watson's outfit. We did everything from foam. We created the shoulder pads, the dress with all her cute ruffles, and now after the foam is dry, we're going to paint it with a very light shade of beige. Lux's eyes are perfect for this transformation, so we will just apply a coat of clear nail polish to give her an even shinier look. <sighs> Look, here's Mrs. Watson. She looks so perfect. I love all the ruffles her dress has. Mrs. Watson is played by the actress Reese Witherspoon. She's been in movies like Legally Blonde, How Do You Know, and The Good Life. She is one of my favorite actresses. This transformation looks amazing. <sighs> Now our beautiful Mrs. Who is almost ready. We just need to paint her eyes with this brown paint. They look so cute. We made a flat foam rectangle and now with this pointy modeling tool, we're going to give it texture just like this. After the foam is dry, we need to paint it all black. This is going to simulate the dreadlocks she has, so we'll try it on our doll and see the correct length and when we're sure, we'll cut it and glue it onto her hair. We'll paint her lips with this brown color because Mrs. Who wears a dark brown lipstick. Finally, let's add a coat of clear nail polish on her eyes so they stand out even more. Okay, last detail. We made two tiny bowls of foam and with cold silicone glue, we're going to attach it on her ears to simulate the earrings. Now we just need to paint the earrings with this golden metallic paint. Here's a beautiful Mrs. Who. I love her outfit and all the details it has. Look how fluffy her skirt looks. I want one too. Mrs. Who is played by Mindy Kaling. She is famous for her role as Kelly Kapoor in the popular sitcom The Office. She's an awesome actress and so funny too. This transformation deserves an A. Back to Mrs. Witch, we need to paint the details on her face, so with this super thin brush and silver paint, let's start drawing them. Her makeup looks magical. Now 
Now let's add a coat of clear nail polish on her eyes. Wow, now they look so shiny. Finally, with this thin wire, we'll create her necklace. We'll create three of them. We use this wire because we can bend it at will. And it's also silver, so it goes with the outfit really well. Okay, so we need to glue the wires really good on the back part of our doll so they don't fall off. We also added pieces of wire on the skirt. This is how you do it. You take a piece of wire and then you're going to bend it a little and then attach it vertically on the dress, just like this. <sighs> Here's the mysterious Mrs. Witch. Oh my God, just look at that hair. I want to have mine like top. Mrs. Witch is played by the one and only Oprah Winfrey. She is America's sweetheart. I love her so much. She is an amazing woman. Our doll transformation is just on point. It looks super, super cool. <sighs> Here's all of today's transformations. They all look gorgeous. Here's Mrs. Watson with her cute ruffle dress and her beautiful hair. Now, here's our amazing Mrs. Switch. I love all the detail of this one, especially the hair. It looks pretty. And finally, here's Mrs. Who. Her hair looks glossy and her outfit is super cool with all the colors and detail it has. If you enjoyed this transformation, please give us a like and leave us a comment down below telling us what you think about this new Disney movie. Also, please subscribe and if you already are, please ring the bell so you don't miss any of our next videos. This was Toy Transformations. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye, bye, bye. Hello. <sighs>